Good morning, everyone. Welcome back into North Dakota Today. Joining us now to spread awareness about early onset colorectal cancer are Pat and Eric Monson from the Live Like Rach charity. Good morning, you two. Good morning, Sophia. Good morning. Yes, yeah, so well, this is such an important topic. Can you tell us about Live Like Rach and why this foundation was started? Yes, uh, we'd love to. Uh, March is <coughs> Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month, and Live Like Rach was founded uh, in order to spread awareness about colorectal cancer. Uh, Rachel had colorectal cancer uh, when she was 33 years old. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's called early onset colorectal cancer. She had all of the symptoms of uh, colorectal cancer. And because of her age, she was misdiagnosed. Mm -hmm. uh, at that point, this was in uh, 2015, at that point uh, in time, uh, providers uh, just didn't recognize the fact mm -hmm. that someone so young could in fact have colorectal cancer. So uh, she went undiagnosed for over a year. Wow. And by the time she was diagnosed, uh, she was at stage four. <coughs> um, <coughs> when uh, when uh, you're diagnosed at stage one or two, mm -hmm. your chances of survival are 90%. Okay. When you're diagnosed, when Rach was at stage four, mm -hmm. uh, your chances are 13%. Oh my goodness. So um, the symptoms that Rachel had when she went in to see the, uh, her provider uh, were some of the most common symptoms. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was shed blood in her stools. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> she had some constipations. She also had some diarrhea. Uh, she had uh, symptoms that uh, were similar to irritable bowel syndrome. She had, you know, stomach pains. Uh, most importantly, she had anemia, mm -hmm. which is uh, low iron, a low hemoglobin. Mm -hmm. And so the combination of those symptoms uh, should be a sign to young people or anyone, you know, under the age of 45, because 45 right now is the, the uh, point in time when people are uh, able to get screened and mm -hmm. have this screening paid for by their insurance company. Anyone between the ages of 20 and 45, if you have these symptoms, then you need to see your provider and ask for a colonoscopy or some type of screening yep. to make sure that you don't have a polyp that might be cancerous. Oh my goodness, yeah. And you said it's so important for young people to be aware yes. of these symptoms too. Yes. As Rachel was. Yes, yeah. definitely. So what is the cause of early onset colorectal cancer and why would you say that it's increasing at such a rapid rate? Uh, Eric, do you want to take that? Well, I think we don't know all, the, all of the causes. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a study, uh, multiple studies underway currently uh, to determine that. So one of the things that we try to do in terms of uh, spreading awareness is that we'd like to have people aware of, so we'll, we'll try more of the preventive side, mm -hmm. or if symptoms occur, uh, have, them, have them checked out. So uh, particularly at a, at a younger age, uh, individuals should be aware of the symptoms, signs and symptoms. Mm -hmm. uh, if they uh, notice anything uh, out of the ordinary, uh, they, ought to, they ought to seek assistance from a provider and advocate for yourself. Yep. Um, Sometimes it's, as my uh, wife mentioned, there are uh, times when uh, maybe it's not thought to be a, a disease of, of young individuals, and mm -hmm. it is. Um, and there are also resources. You can go to uh, livelikerach.org. You can go to givingheartsday.org uh, and search for uh, Live Like Rach. Mm -hmm. And there are resources available. You can donate to help us uh, uh, spread the word. We've been at this four or five years. Uh, and we think that it's uh, making a difference. We know it's making a difference. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Absolutely. It is. So how important is it for you both to be able to, you know, use your voices and really spread awareness about this topic? Well, it's important to us because uh, just before Rachel passed away, um, she told me um, mm -hmm. that she wanted us to raise awareness. She mm -hmm. said, don't let this happen to anyone else. Yeah. Um, and that was my mission. I asked her, I said, what, you know, what can I do? And she said, just don't let this happen to anyone else. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you look back on her story, it would have been so easy yep. for her to have been treated and for her to be here today. 
So that's what we want, is we want other young people to uh, continue to be here today. Mm -hmm. With these symptoms, get to your provider, talk to your parents. You know, it's hard to talk about things that, you know, you eliminate, mm -hmm. uh, stool, bloody stool, um, having gas and um, those types of symptoms. But if you have them, talk about them. If your family has a history of colorectal cancer, find out mm -hmm. because that is essential to your survival. And so it, if Rachel had survived, uh, we think the world would be a whole um, a better place. She was a fantastic human being and we miss her, the world misses her. And so raising awareness of what she went through, mm -hmm. uh, we hope to avoid that happening to anybody else, particularly young people, mm -hmm. because I don't think that young people necessarily pay attention or close attention yep. to these types of symptoms. So um, if you have them, talk to your provider. If your provider won't uh, consider a screening because of your age, find a different provider. Yep. Continue to talk about these symptoms and uh, have a screen. Uh, and uh, if you need anything, if you need any advice, then let's uh, uh, talk to somebody at Live Like Rach. We're here to help. We have billboards all over mm -hmm. Fargo-Moorhead this month and uh, other uh, resource measures. So get a hold of us. We're happy to help and we're here to save lives. Absolutely. Well, thank you both so much for coming on this morning. This is truly such an important topic and so special that you two are here to really raise awareness about it. So thank you again. Thank you for having us, Sophia. Yes, of course. Thank you. Yeah. All right, everyone stick around because coming up on today's show, we are talking to Grammy-nominated singer-songwriter John Andrasik ahead of his Fargo Theater performance. Stick around.